Welcome back everybody to your stimulus update for today. On this episode, I'm gonna share with you some statements that the United States Secretary of the Treasury, Steven Mnuchin, just made on CNBC. And remember, this is the guy who is the lead negotiator for the White House and the Senate Republicans. So the things that he says are really important. And also, I'm gonna share with you once again what I believe is the only direction forward on how this bill can get passed in the next couple of weeks. Once again, welcome back, everybody, to your stimulus update for today, Tuesday, August 18th. Before we get into the statements that were just made by the U.S. Secretary of the Treasury, Stephen Mnuchin, I would like to remind you all, if you have not already, consider subscribing to the channel. We will continue to keep you updated on the most important stimulus news that you need to know about. In addition, as we approach the very important United States election that is coming up in November, we will be closely covering the debates by President Donald Trump and Joe Biden. But let's go ahead and get into those statements that were just just made this morning by Steven Mnuchin. How do we move forward here? What can uh, what can we do? What can the media do? I, I, I'm not being uh, presumptuous. It's just I feel like that there's been some sort of logjam. And I don't think uh, I, I think people can be reasonable knowing that the little person is it's, it's just at the, in a void versus Home Depot versus Walmart. These numbers today are staggering against the small the small business. Well, they are, they are staggering, and you can see the good news is that people are beginning to spend. But as you said, Jim, there, there's a lot of need for small businesses. Half of the employment in the U.S. is in small businesses, and we need to support them. And you understand this, and I would just ask you to continue to emphasize these issues. But the good news is we're moving forward. The, the president's EO on unemployment. Uh, we now have many states that are uh, moving through that process. We have, uh, looks like, five states that have already been approved. We have another four states that have submitted and uh, about another 10 states that are in the process. So the good news is, despite Congress not acting because Pelosi and Schumer aren't willing to sit down and strike a reasonable deal, the president moved forward with the EO to help people who are still unemployed. So you can see there U.S. Secretary of the Treasury Steven Mnuchin on Jim Cramer's show on CNBC. He says a few important things there that I want to highlight for you. And there's some additional quotes that he also said this morning that I want to tell you about as well. So the first thing is you can see that Jim Cramer is talking about this log jam that he sees. And what he's talking about in particular is the holdup of the stimulus bill. The fact that our Congress is not supplying additional help to the American people and the American economy. And he calls it a log jam. And he's seeing all of the numbers out there and saying that small businesses are getting hurt. And that's why Steven Mnuchin first goes into small businesses, saying that half of the businesses in the United States of America are small businesses. And so then he said that's why we need to pass more help right now to give those small businesses additional aid. And then he moved on to what he called the EO. The EO is the executive order that President Donald Trump just made a couple of weeks ago because the Congress is again log jammed and not passing the bill that we really need. We need legislative action. We need a new bill that's going to provide more aid to businesses, more stimulus payments, more unemployment, but that did not happen. So President Donald Trump issued executive orders on what he felt he could, which was more unemployment help, stopping student loan payments, some eviction stuff that he's looking into that they're researching right now, and then the payroll tax holiday thing that they're still working through. But the one that Steven Mnuchin covered on Jim Cramer's show on CNBC was the unemployment boost help. And he said that there are five states who have already approved it, meaning that the individual in that state are going to get at least $300 boost per week and possibly an extra $100 if the states add funding in. That four states are submitted and 10 states are in the process. I couldn't find out which states have done it. I did find out that New Mexico, in fact, was one of the states that is already approved. So if you're in New Mexico, congratulations. I also found out that the earliest possible date that you can receive those new boosted unemployment wages is August 29th. So you're not going to see it before that date. But he did also highlight once again that he believes that Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are the reason why these benefits are not going out legislatively, which is the real way we need to do this. He added a few additional quotes earlier this morning that you need to know about. He said, there is a deal to do here, meaning he still wants to do this deal. If the Democrats want to be reasonable, I'm concerned. Concerned about the politics and all of this. 
That was Secretary of the Treasury Steven Mnuchin. He also said this. I think there's a lot of people on both sides in the Senate and the House, both Republicans and Democrats, that would like to see people come together and get a deal done that's good for the American workers. And once again, in my opinion, the only way forward in this is for Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer to accept the $1.5 trillion deal. The $1.5 trillion deal includes everything that both sides agree on. There is a massive amount of things that they agree on that they can pass right now. Things like more stimulus payments for the American people. That would include more payments for Social Security, SSI, veterans, RRB, survivors, those who are employed. It includes the unemployment boost going forward at $400 a week, which is a really good number and is going to help a lot of people out. It includes more money for small businesses. It includes more money for hospitals, more money for research. It includes $105 billion for the schools as they're beginning to open up. It includes an additional 200 to $250 billion for state and local aid. It is the $1.5 trillion that both sides agree on. But right now what's happening is, is Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are saying we're not passing anything for anybody. Nobody is getting anything unless the Republicans agree that we are going to give the states and local municipalities one trillion more dollars directly for them. And if the Republicans won't do that, we will pass nothing. In my opinion, they should pass the $1.5 trillion they agree on and let the American people decide in November who we want to put in power and continue to lead us forward with additional stimulus payments. That's why there's no reason to log jam this up. If the American people want the Democrats to lead us forward in the pandemic with more stimulus help, we will vote you in in November. But pass what you can agree on now, help the American people out now, and then worry about getting more stimulus payments out to the American people after the election, in which if you believe that you have the ideas that the American people want going forward, they will vote you in and you will be able to pass those ideas. And Steven Mnuchin, who is the lead negotiator, is ready to sign that deal. Mark Meadows, who is the second lead negotiator, is also ready to sign that deal. Mitch McConnell, the lead Republican in the Senate, is ready to sign that $1.5 trillion deal. President Donald Trump is ready to sign that deal. The only ones who are not are the Democrat leaders in the House, led by Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, who say no, no deal unless the $1 trillion for the states and local aid is in that bill. If it is not, there is no deal. That is not okay. In my opinion, I called out the Republicans when I felt like they waited too long to negotiate it. They waited two months. They wanted, remember guys, they wanted to look at the numbers. So they waited two months to get the bill and to negotiate it and to look at it. I called them out for that. I called out Donald Trump when I didn't like his executive orders. So I'll do it to both sides. I'm calling out the Democrats right now. They need to move forward with what is there and then let the American public decide in November. That's my opinion. This is the latest news on the stimulus bill. If you guys enjoy being kept up to date like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Each day I will only give you what's happening for that day. Whatever interview went on, whatever quotes that are important for that day, that's what I'm gonna give you. I'm not gonna tell you that you're gonna get a stimulus payment if you're not gonna get a stimulus payment, which means when this channel says the stimulus stimulus payment is actually happening. When you see that thumbnail, right? And you see that title, it is happening. You know it's happening. Unlike some channels out there that say it's happening every single thumbnail and every single title, you can trust what we're going to say here. And I think if you haven't subscribed already, if you do, you will not be disappointed. Also, like I said earlier, we are gonna be covering the debates between President Donald Trump and Joe Biden. If not for anything, these are gonna be very interesting debates to see. So if you don't really have the time to check out the two hour debates, you just want the highlights and the important information. This is your channel for that. Consider subscribing, liking the channel. Thank you guys as always for coming along with me. I will catch you next time.